if it's the first time coming to our channel uh, we post daily questions of fleet code and also every time uh, any contest happens so in this we're going to see maximum prime difference if, if you have not watched this prime master class in which we have discussed every proof every variation of prime numbers and also factors like all these kind of things devices and stuff we have also discussed in this video please go and check out if you want to make your prime number strong now coming on back it simply says that we are given an integer array called as nums in this video we have also seen other approaches prime sieve and in a range all that stuff also so yeah uh it we have written an integer that is maximum distance between two indices between the indices of two necessarily different like not necessarily different prime numbers which means i can have let's say two two is a prime number i want two prime numbers in extreme distance why extreme distance because i want the maximum distance between those indices that's the reason this distance will become maximum only when i know the two prime numbers are at the extreme distance so firstly i have to go and figure out what all prime numbers are there in this entire array okay zero one two three four i just mark the indices this is a prime number this is a prime number this is a prime number i want two prime numbers in the extreme distance again he also said that it is not necessary that you have all the prime numbers for example in this case let's say i have only one prime number so one prime number one prime number so two minus two zero one two index is two two minus two it is a zero so i can also have a zero but in this case i want the maximum distance so greedily i will choose the two extreme indices of the prime number itself so i will choose this index and this index of two prime numbers and thus four minus one which is three is the answer so it's a greedy and to determine what is the prime number itself you can simply use a prime either c you can use also or also you, you if, if you go and look your number supply is very small so simply a square root of n approach will also work here to determine for every number if it's a prime or not now um for although we'll use the most optimal sieve approach but still if you want to look for any other approaches of how to solve primes you can just go and watch this video very helpful coming on to the code i will simply have my sieve code which determines that if number if a number is prime or not so this prime of i if it is true which means that i the number is a prime if it is false that i number is not a prime i will simply go on and initialize my prime number of the size of one is one if like 105 because i realized my numbers can only reach to 100 although it will still work for 105 also that's a special part of a prime now i went on to all the numbers now i just want to extreme ends so i will just mention the first index first index where of where i found my prime by default the answer is zero first index where i found my prime is minus one so as soon as i found my prime i will update my first index and then as you can see the loop loop keeps on going so wherever again it will whenever i get the next prime it will update my answer next prime update my answer next prime update my answer in the last prime it will update my answer and the last prime from last prime to first prime that will be the maximum distance and that will be your maximum answer also cool so that is how you can simply solve it again in the most efficient time bye bye take care and if you have not watched the video if you are in college then do watch the video in the comment section bye bye